Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. Today, we are going to build a Chrome extension that is going to convert this Geo Savan light theme to the dark theme. This page doesn't have any toggle options like switching from the light to the dark theme. So I just got an idea like how we can change the UI of this page into the dark theme using the Chrome extension. Let's see the demo first. So here we have built a Chrome extension that is Geo Music Dark. I'm going to just enable this. Now, if I go back and refresh the page, you can see the magic. It's going to convert the entire page into the dark theme. And if you notice, the text also taken care. The text is uh, previously it was in dark. Now it's in light. So let me open this in incognito mode. Probably you can understand or see the differences, right? So here the text almost are in the black color and the dark, uh, some grayish or black color. But when we converted that into a dark theme, of course, the text text should be in the light color. So let's see how to do this using the Chrome extension APIs. I have removed the extension and the page is now light theme. Now let's understand what are the things we need. First, of course, we need the tab permissions because we are going to use the tabs here. Without that, we cannot get like what is the tab is, whether the tab is updated or all the stuff. Okay. And as usual, so we already have this manifest. We have discussed about the manifest so many times. So I'm not going to explain the same. So here very in a high level, we have a name, description, version, and the manifest version. These four are the mandatory fields. And then we have the icons where this is the icon. So I just created a small tiny icon. And then we have this background script. Yes, we are going to use the background script so that whenever there is an update on the tab, we can identify that. And of course, we need the permissions, the tab. So to get the access from the Chrome extension of the current tab, and then we are going to inject to this particular website. So I'm just using that website as a permission. That's it. Nothing much here. Now we are going to create this script called bg.js that is background.js. And first what we need is basically we have to identify what is the extension API we are going to use. So of course that's tab. And within the tab we have so many functions like get, current, get, connect and all the stuff. What we are interested on is whenever we click on a new tab, for example, if I click on new tab, it's going to get some actions like the loading or the complete events. So we have to see when the tab is getting updated with the URL of the Geo server. So for that, we have a listeners that is unupdated. And the syntax is very simple. Just we have to copy this guy. Let's go back to our code. And here we are going to see. So chrome.tabs.unupdated. So whenever there is a tab, it's going to be updated. We are going to get few details as a callback. So what are the details we are going to get is basically this one. So integer tab ID, the change info and the tab details. So let's replace this. And let's remove this unwanted things. So we are going to receive three things. One is the tab and another one is the change info, another one is the tab ID, right? Now, let's see what are this, what this change info is going to give us. So if you see this change info here, we can see that it is going to give us the tab status. So if I click on this and you can see that we have three status. One is the load, another one is the complete and another one is the unloaded. Okay, so we have three status here. Now we can use this complete or the loading. So what is the difference? Loading in the sense when the page is getting refreshed or it's loading some of the CSS or some JavaScript or some Ajax calls. At that point, we can inject our style sheet or else once the page is get loaded completely, then we can inject. But in our scenario, loading is fine. So let's quickly print that and see what it's going to give us. So I'm just going to use this uh, console log and here we'll say like change info but that will be given the format of object i believe let's check that as well so let's go back to our extension and click on this load and pack and go to the folder where we have so it's in my uh, desktop and let's select the folder now let's click on this background page and let's go to the console and i'm going to create a new tab and i'm going to load like geo7.com now let's see what it's going to give us right so you can see as soon as the page is getting loaded the background uh, in the background script we are able to get say uh, get like the status that is loading and the url is new tab so whenever you create a new tab that is the url of that 
and after that the new URL status is completed and after that we uh, load this geo seven the status is loading now and once it uh, loaded completely we will get like status is complete and the page title is online songs on geo seven so that is what we can see here as well and then fab icon URL so if you want to get the URL I mean the fab icon URL you can get that using the change info okay now once the status is going to be loading at that point we have to inject our script so for that we have another function that is um, insert CSS so here if I go to the documentation you can see we are getting this insert CSS where it needs three details one is the tab ID that we are already getting from the on, on updated listener and then we need some details details like what is the code you are going to insert or maybe what is the file you are going to insert and after that it's going to give us a callback in the callback if you want something like uh, just a console log or if you want to handle some error probably you can do that okay so let's copy this line as well and here we'll say like chrome.tabs.insert css and then it's needed tab id that we are getting from here and then we need to pass some details we'll write this as of now i'll just leave this as a object and callback we'll just say like um console.log that's fine for us so here we'll say like console.log uh, inserted success inserted that's it right yeah but we don't want to insert in all the pages or all the tabs new tabs we want to inject only on the geo7 website right so to get the url we can use the change info or else we can also get the i mean use the tab so here i'll say like if tab dot url is equals equals to geo7 so let's copy the url and paste over here okay so if this going to be this particular url then only we need to insert the css here right but when we have to insert is basically when this change info status is going to be loading right so here we'll write another condition so if the change info dot status equals equals to loading and then we are going to inject this one right so that's it now we don't want this console so we can remove this i mean the log and that's it so we are done with the chrome extension part that is what we have to do and uh, here we have to pass like the details like what we have to uh, pass so we can pass either like a code so here you can see that details this details right so object details details and here we can pass a code or a file or all other uh, options are also there right uh, we are interested to pass a file because we are going to write few of the css where we are going to focus few of the div tag class tag and uh, some other tags so code is not recommended we will pass a file so here we'll say like file and then we have to specify the file name that's going to be doc.css right now let's create this file so within the root folder i'm going to say dark.css now what we are going to do is basically we are going to identify few of the uh, elements for example let's take this header as an example so i'm going to convert this header first so let's do the right click and do the inspect and here we can see that it is within the header and it has a class called c hyphen header so i'm just going to copy this but before that let us understand how this is going to work so here you can see element.style right so here we can write some of the style like background and i can say like black or maybe some dark and you can see that it actually changed the entire into the black team black color right basically but we don't want this to be entirely black maybe we can select some other color like this uh, this kind of dark which looks good at the same time it's more of like dark okay so here we can say this is our color code or maybe i already have taken the few perfect color codes probably we can replace that later on okay now just to give you an idea i'm just going to copy this color code and here the element is header and which has a class called c hyphen header so let's do that so i'm going to say header and the class name is c hyphen header and then i'm going to say background and the color going to be this one right that's it so we are done with the first one let's go and try to inject the script i mean load the extension so let's go back to the extension tab and we are going to do the refresh and now let's go here 
and refresh the page any tab is fine so yeah so we can see that we are able to change the color right similarly we have to find each and everything whatever the changes we have to do we have to inspect everything and then we can do uh, there is no single way to change all the color at the same time uh, that is not how css works so they have already their uh, inbuilt css inbuilt in the sense they are already using some css and we are going to override that right so as of as per my knowledge of course we have to inspect each and everything and then only we can do okay so just to give you another quick demo we are going to target this one so here you can see that we actually got two uh, icons let me refresh but because of the dark color it's going to be disappear right so we have to make this as a white color now let's go back and uh, identify this so inspect and this is actually svg tag and svg tag is very easy so we can focus on this svg svg and here instead of this black color i can change this to be a white color and that's it it will fix our problem right so let's copy the path of this one so it's going to be um this one so let's copy this and here we'll say this one and then probably i can say like color not color here we have to use the fill so in svg we have to use the fill and that's going to be white so let's give this one yeah now let's go back and refresh the page that should work i think because we have changed the css okay it didn't work let's go back and try to refresh and then refresh okay so here it didn't work let's inspect one more time and see maybe we can come from the a tag and then we can uh, give like this that should work i think so let's go back and check again so here we'll say like a dot c hyphen logo and then followed by this one yeah so let's do the refresh again yeah so we got it right so in this way we have to find each and every element and then we have to just change our dark or css that file and it will be entirely in the dark theme so i already, i already found all the values and i i already have the css file so let's go and refresh that before that let me close all the other tabs here okay and uh, let's go back and i already have this dark.css so i'm just going to replace my file let me explain you this as well so i'm using this root root in the sense uh, it is like your variable we can use the variables in the css and this x and this important means we are going to overwrite so that's why we are using this important here and then we have this body we are setting the body background as this bg this is the color code of that the dark color and for each and every text and each and every div each and every um the text and what of the header we have the titles the subtitles and navigations and few of the side uh sidebars the panel everything i have changed into the color very easy one just color fill and the background nothing much here so it will take some time to identify all the elements so that is uh, not the intent of this uh, particular video so i hope you understood the basic like how we can identify the elements and then we can use the background js to inject the css file now let's go back and finally do a testing so i'm going to refresh this and then let's open geosavan.com and as soon as the page is getting loaded we can see that it is entirely in the dark theme now so that's it for the video i hope you have enjoyed the video and the concept as well it's very easy we can do so many things in the chrome extensions i will try to bring more a small small topic like this as well as i'm planning to make a whole uh, a big whole project as well but time is the only constant but definitely will try my best to give you more content like this if you like the video kindly give a like and share to your friends and if you are new to the channel kindly do the subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon in another video in another concept with a different apis